Good afternoon. I'm Raj Wabs, and I'm the CEO of Corbun, which I co-founded two years ago together with my colleague Professor Binderman, a well-known scientist in the field of bone regeneration. We are developing bioactive bone grafts out of crawls that we grow ourselves. You may be familiar with the term bone grafts that are used usually to support implants to fill bone voids in case of injury, trauma, or disease. They are usually used in orthopedics, spine, dental, and very common in use. Here you can see an example of a patient that had a bone loss. He had a bone, but there was not enough bone to support the implant. So what you had here is a bone graft that was inserted here, and again block on granules. Over time, it enabled a new bone to grow over it and replace the bone graft. And once this area was stable, the implant was inserted and bone, a new uh, tip was placed in place and the process was uh, concluded. It's a large market, $4.4 billion market, about one quarter go to dental, the rest of the pedics and spine. And the sources are usually from human source, animal, and today the growing market share is from synthetic. And why it's growing? It's growing because there's a fear of organic. As a result, the synthetic are growing. And especially the second generation, which contains bioactive ingredients. Bioactive ingredients, they basically enhance new bone growth and enable connectivity between old bone and new bone. Seamless connectivity. But these materials, the usually process in laboratory, are weak. So they cannot support load-bearing uh, applications. What we are doing? We are taking corals. Now corals are quite familiar and known as excellent bone graft material. They have a bone-like structure. You can see porosity that enables vascularity and similar strength to the uh, human bone. They are also biocompatible, but they are not bioactive. Those companies are taking the coral, they process them in the laboratory, it's a known process, but again, they don't enhance the bone growth. What we are doing in our laboratory, in our coral farm, under patent technology, we are embedding bioactive materials. We basically give them a bioactive diet. They take those nutrition embedded in the structure of the coral evenly, and then we take the coral and process it. At the end of the story, we have a strong bioactive bone graft without the fear of disease transfer as it's inorganic. How we know it works? We take our coral, we process it, we implanted it in an animal. Within 21 days, what we've got is a new bone in these areas, a new bone marrow that was created. Now, the new bone marrow shows that it's calling new stem cells and host them and grow a new bone. And all that is done without any organic material. We've done that trial about seven times repeatedly and all yielded the same results. That wasn't enough for us. We took all the, some of the existing market, uh, products in the market, coral or non-coral based products, and we tested them against our product. Again, we've gained superior uh, results comparing to those products. So how we do it? We have our own coral farm down the desert, not far from a lot. We have several pools like those that you see here. And we grow several hundreds of corals over there. They grow over time. We supervise the nutrition rates online. We see how they grow. And when time comes, we crop them. We process them, process them in the product and to the market. It's an established pilot plant. It's not a laboratory. And it's easily scalable to meet our commercial needs. It's an interesting market, and I think that we've got some validation here to what we are doing. You can see here that there were several acquisitions. You can see Interpro, a company that develops bone grafts out of curl, and I was fortunate enough that my, colleague, my partner was the medical advisor for that company 20 years ago. So you apparently know what he's doing. The latest uh, companies here, the latest acquisitions were of synthetic products that are bioactive using the same minerals that we are using, but are not strong enough. We have an excellent team. I talk a little bit about myself. 
I've been also several, I had several startups in the medical device industry, and prior to that I was VP in some of Israel's largest companies. But Professor Binderman has been working for this field for about 30 years. He was a senior researcher at the NIH, hospital for special surgery, former head of the dental department and art tissue laboratory in Tel Aviv, a hospital, <coughs> professor in Tel Aviv University for dental medicine and bioengineering, and we also have Asaf, who is our call man. We have a clear marketing strategy, mar uh, market entry strategy. We go dental first. Why? Easy barrier of entry. No, uh, no uh, reimbursement. So it's a private pay. Easy cash flow to generate and a market validation, which is exactly what the market needs in order to go to the next phase when you approach the big guys in the medical device industry and orthopedics. We're looking to raise $800,000 $800, to complete our C application which we're going to apply later this year, and we hope to get it early next year, by mid next year. We're also going to apply for FDA. It's, as it's fully mineral, no organic material, and it's a predicate device. This is going to be a 510K, class two. And there's no human trials required for those. We're gonna use those funds to expand our manufacturing and to launch our product into the uh, dental market in Israel. And in short, we have the solution for that market. It's a strong bioactive product without the risk and complication of disease transfer, easy track to CE and FDA. We have excellent preclinical results. And it's a large market that has a hinder that we're going to fill. And all that leads us to a better product at a lower cost and great opportunity. And I invite you to participate in it. Thank you.